Hello and welcome back to Louisville Living. Um, after three days of me reading, yes, because of the mod that uh, reading, reading a book gives you the skill levels for it. Because of that mod, it takes way longer to read a book. Way longer. So my guy hasn't eaten in a while. And much hasn't been done. We're still the same person we were three days ago. We just know some stuff about carpentry. Now, right now, instead of focusing on getting better weaponry, improving stuff, we want to focus on making the house just safer. So the way we're going to do that is by taking these shelves and putting them in front of windows. Which, since we read the books, we now have the skill to do. Which, we can also use these for storage and to block out the light, as I was saying. That's one. We can also use them to store food and stuff, so we just have food at the front of our base for easy access. Which is pretty nice. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, that's even more interesting. I don't know why my luck's pretty bad today. Probably because I'm uploading late, you know? There we go, finally. We might not be able to do... Yeah, barricade that. So we can bear kite those. Yeah. Oh, okay. You would think these would block zombies. Hmm. Guess I still need to barricade the windows. That's weird and stupid, but hmm. it is what it is. Oh yeah, one thing. Sorry if you hear chewing. That is literally just me eating pretzels since I'm hungry, you know? But uh, yeah. I think we're gonna place like this one. Yeah, this one I guess. Since, since you can't, yeah, I don't know why you can't place it there. This one here. Hmm. Or, ooh, wait. I could barricade that and then, oh, it would be it would be. Oh, I'll figure it out later. For now, we'll just have it like this. Which I know isn't the best configuration, but it should work for now. Hmm. So since we are still going to need to barricade those windows, even though apparently those don't count as barricades. We'll just disassemble these for planks. Mwomp. Since max we need is one plank for each window, we pick up these. We get some nails. 
we open him, then we should just be able to barricade them and it should solve that. Right? No, really? Huh. Yeah, I guess I'll just disassemble these. That's stupid. But I guess we learn. We do still have the storage inside. Honestly, what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to also barricade those doors and put some stuff in front of them. Because I highly doubt we're ever going to be going back there. And if we do, I'll just go back there. But right now, we need to focus on barricading the front and then... After we do that, we should probably focus on getting better weaponry. AKA guns and stuff, since I decided to build right next to a grocery store, which is very good on my part, in my opinion. So yeah. Oh, I can just cut that down. Wait, what am I doing? Axe? Isn't there an axe in here? Do I have an axe? I don't have an axe. I swear. Yeah, there. Problem solved. Axe. Perfect. Then we just saw these and we have plenty of logs. C6. That's at least enough to block out the light. might actually be able to make it even, which is going to be pretty nice by itself. Hmm. Uh, is there another tree round? No, but there's a zombie. Why am I so unencumbered at the moment? Don't know. We need three more planks. We can probably just disassemble these, I'm going to be honest with you. So let's do that. One. Oh, that's two. Can we disassemble that? Nope. I cannot. Yeah, we could just gather all this food and put it in there, in our house. I take two more planks, though, gladly. Let's go. We can also barricade our house. That's going to be nice. Ugh. Excuse me. Alright, now that we have the store mostly secure, let's actually think about this. I need to get some of this stuff out of my inventory. We have a car. We have a place to go. Well, we need a bag. That's something. We need trash bags. We need a shovel, which I already have one. I can probably dedicate a corner like that to the farming. And we need more weaponry. So let's quickly eat and then see where the next location we can go is. A 
Okay. Uh, let's see. If we get lucky, we could probably get a duffel bag zombie from over there. Yes, eventually we would need to go to the surplus store. Hmm. And I do feel like maybe we should do that tomorrow. Just because it seems safer. Is this a alcohol place? Duffel. That's inconvenient. Hmm. You know how I said uh, that wouldn't be that many zombies? Turns out there is. And turns out it won't just be a building episode today, which is good and bad at the same time. Getting into one of those buildings for trash bags would be pretty nice though. We also need a microwave, 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 which I know there is a uh, appliance store somewhere, a generator, which uh, we're going to find those by houses, if anything. And if we're lucky... I don't know if we're lucky. One good thing is I can actually sleep somewhere safe. I just need a bed or a couch or something. Um, there is still a lot of zombies over there. Hmm. Wasn't there an appliance store here somewhere? Maybe I'm... Stupid, but I swear I saw appliances here somewhere. Maybe with greenies? Where did I see appliances? Hmm. Oh, it's probably over there now that I think about it. Well, I know this wasn't that much an eventful video. But the main goal of today was to fortify the hardware store, which we did do. Meaning we actually have a place to come back to, which is something I should keep in mind. But I do think our guy is getting tired. Now we've been sleeping in that for like the past, what? Three, four, five days, maybe? Maybe there's a duffel bag zombie in here. I can tell you right now, I'd rather be sleeping in a couch or something. I know what we're doing tomorrow. So the plan is tomorrow, we're gonna take the truck out, our big truck, and we're gonna start clearing buildings for types of furniture and stuff we want. I know that's not the most efficient, but just sleeping in that gla in that truck is not good. Our truck's over there. 
But yeah, I think I am going to call it here for today. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, sorry for the boring video and me eating while I was making the video. See you guys next time. Thanks.